from Disney Mama. Welcome or welcome back. Today I am here to share with you 30 different ideas for your elf on the shelf. Last year we recorded our elf on the shelf to hopefully give your elf on the shelf some inspiration for 2022. So if your elf needs some ideas for this year, then stick around, keep watching, and we will share with you all the things that our elf and reindeer were up to last year. Let me tell you guys, they could be quite mischievous. When we first saw this sign, we were like, where is our elf? We couldn't find him anywhere. And then all of a sudden we look out the window and there he is. What a greeting. It wasn't even very warm that day, but the elf decided to hang out outside, let us know that he was back. So is his reindeer friend. Let's make some trees. I love that the elf left us some cones and some things to decorate them with. One of our favorite things to do other than decorating gingerbread houses is to decorate ice cream cones to make them look like Christmas trees. We caught our elf playing gin, although I'm not sure our elf knows how to play gin. This didn't really look like gin rummy to us, but we just went with it. I mean, who knows how toys play? Maybe they have their own version of gin rummy, but let me know in the comments down below if they were playing correctly or not. Avengers Assemble. Is this a play on Avengers Assemble? Yes, yes it is. Our elf and reindeer were hanging out with the Hulk, Spider-Man, Captain America, Black Panther, and Groot. All from the Marvel Universe, which let me tell you guys, we love Marvel, so the elf knew exactly what to do. Oh my goodness! Is that the elf and our reindeer with one of our kids? Yep, yes it is. Our elf and our reindeer snuck into Winnie's bed, took a selfie with her, and then left the picture here. Anybody looking for a Christmas tree? Our entryway table has a ton of small Christmas trees and signs to sell Christmas trees, so our elf decided that he wanted to sell them for a dollar. On this day, the elf was in our manger and he left us a note saying to ask mom and dad to tell about the story of Christmas, meaning baby Jesus, and the story of the manger. So we thought this was really neat that the elf decided to leave us this note to have us tell the kids why we truly celebrate Christmas every single year. Oh, where could our elf be? Oh. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> he decided to build a snowman out of our toilet paper. He and the reindeer built a snowman using toilet paper and I think tissue paper to make this snowman. Very creative elf and reindeer, very creative. On this day, our elf and reindeer left us matching pajamas and they tried to pin it on mom. Come on, we know you guys wanted us to have matching PJs to take those awesome Christmas pictures. Don't blame it on mom, but how cute are these pajamas? Keep up the good behavior, stick to the nice list. We love it when our elf rewards good behavior. On this day, our elf and reindeer left our kids some stickers, some gingerbread stickers. I think I see some reindeer stickers in there as well. And the kids absolutely love when they leave some treats. How do cereals say goodbye to each other? Cheerio. Oh. Our elf and reindeer can be so funny. On this morning, they left us a box of Cheerios with two bowls and two spoons to have breakfast and they decided to leave us a joke as well. The next morning we caught our elf and our reindeer playing tic-tac-toe with mini marshmallows. They must have gone into the pantry and gotten some marshmallows and took some sharpie markers and wrote X and O on them so that they could play tic-tac-toe over and over again while we were fast asleep. The floor is lava. Uh-oh, where could our elf and reindeer be? <laughs> on this day, they were on the wall playing the floor is lava. If you guys don't know what the floor is lava game is, it means you cannot step on the floor. You must step on everything else except the floor because the floor is lava. So we don't want our elf and reindeer to burn the lava. So they were hiding up high so they could avoid the lava. 
We love it when our elven reindeer leave us treats, especially activities that the kids can do, that the kids can play with. On this day, they left the kids some paint and some canvases to paint, and the kids had an absolute blast when he got paint all over her canvases, but it was totally fun the whole time. Here's one of my favorite stories to read at bedtime. So on this day, the elf and the reindeer left us one of their favorite books, the Elf Pets book, A Reindeer Tradition. And this book talks all about how the elf and the reindeer came together and the kids loved it. I love you to the moon and back. Okay, not sure what was going on here. It looked like the elf and the reindeer wrapped themselves up in tin foil like they were going to outer space maybe. What do you guys think? Okay, so what are your feelings on Grinch poop? On this day, our elf and reindeer left us some free Grinch poop. And I don't know how I'm feeling about it. Uh, we could see that the Grinch wasn't too happy. He was looking over in the distance. And I had a feeling that the next day something was going to happen. Help! Sure enough. The elf and the reindeer had it coming. What can I say? The Grinch was not having that little prank that went on and he decided to prank the elf and the reindeer right back because we all know the Grinch. He's not going to stand for that. Best cereal ever? Well, that's debatable. Our m and cereal? I don't know, guys. The elf and the reindeer seemed to think that they were eating cereal, but... We all know that they were eating M&M's, but come on now, I guess that would make for a good breakfast, so maybe they were up to something. Guys, this had to be the toughest day to find the elf so far. He said he hit the wrong button and didn't know how to get out of the TV. How did he get there in the first place? Let me tell you something, you guys. We looked high and low all day long for our elf, and finally around... Bedtime, we decided to watch a Christmas movie. We turned on the TV, and there he was. Crazy. Another day where the elf left us another little gift. We always love when the elf and reindeer leave us something. On this day, he left a coloring book. It was an elf on the shelf coloring and activity book, so you can never go wrong with that. The kids had a blast coloring the pages for the elf and reindeer. What's with these jokes? Where do reindeers grab their morning coffee or shakes, in this case, Starbucks? You're so funny, you guys. On this day, the elf and the reindeer made a chocolate shake for breakfast for the kids. It was a chocolate reindeer shake. It was so cute. We thought that was so sweet of them. And another joke. What's a snowman's favorite hot drink? Frosty and look they even made us a tiny mini marshmallow snowman. How cute is that? We found them on this day in our pantry. They were hanging out with all the hot chocolate fixins So I guess they were trying to tell us uh, it was time to make some hot chocolate This was another day where it took us a little while to find the elf and reindeer It wasn't until I was doing some laundry that we stumbled upon them and guys, it's not a ride. It's the dryer uh, what's with this guy and chocolate poop? I thought you could use this bag of reindeer poop to make cookies. I mean, I hate to break it to the elf, but we all know it's chocolate chips. But look, the reindeer had Rudolph with him and Sven from Frozen. He had all his reindeer friends. I guess they wanted us to bake, huh? Do you guys like to read Twas the Night Before Christmas? John reads this to the kids every single night from November 1st all the way through Christmas Eve. And I guess the elf and the reindeer wanted to get in on the fun. So we found them on this morning reading to all of our Disney friends decked out in their Christmas best had to be the best day ever the elf and the reindeer were in a container so that the kids could actually pick them up and bring them around the house all day Winnie was so excited when she found them she couldn't wait to bring them everywhere with us it was so great this was another day where we had trouble finding the elf he's always getting into mischief that elf and that reindeer this is our fridge in our garage, so we only go down here maybe once a day, maybe once every other day. 
and we looked high and low for our elf and our reindeer and it wasn't until John went to go get another gallon of milk that we found him and the bad milk. And that completes our 30 days of our time with our elf and our reindeer. As always, on the last day, they hang out in our Christmas tree and they watch us open gifts and they leave us a note saying, see you next year. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed seeing what our elf and reindeer were up to last year. We hope that it inspired your elf for 2022. And with that, we will see you guys in the next one. Bye. I've been long to hold you close, forget about